comfortable. The Rafa room distinguished speakers, chair and the audience, and welcome to the United for Peace Conference. My name is Vijay Mehta. I'm the chair of United for Peace, and I'm pleased to see so many dedicated activists here today. And your passion is behind all the social changes happening in the world. Allow me to say a few words about our organization United for Peace. Working since 1979, 40 years, United for Peace is a non-profit organization devoted to creating and promoting a global culture of peace, non-violence, poverty reduction, and sustainable growth. <coughs> Many famous names, Nobel Peace Prize laureates, cabinet ministers, members of parliament, members of European parliament have worked tirelessly for our organization for the past 40 years. About the meeting today, it's about global problems need global solutions. No time in history the world has faced more chaos, disorder, and dysfunctional leaders and parliamentarians. The UK is an example of this, where nothing has been discussed, nothing has been achieved besides talking about Brexit for two years, and the result is a limbo. So it's very timely that we are discussing the existential threats facing humanity. So I'm hoping speakers while addressing the audience will come up with ideas, actions and solutions towards solving some of these intractable problems. So without wasting any more time, to start the meeting, let me introduce Sarika Pei, chair for today's meeting. She is United for Peace Hour Vice President, great supporter. She is a former president of Commonwealth Journalist Association, freelance journalist, media advisor, former BBC Asia editor, and BBC World News. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today Chair Rita Pei. And good morning or early afternoon to you all. Uh, it's lovely to see you and it's thank you. BJ, um, we are going to be talking about peace, which doesn't seem to be very fashionable these days. And I was just um, reading uh, a few lines from a commentator, and one of the things he observed was referring to Trump. One of the leaders who we would probably say is not we would consider the ideal leader for the world, but he seems to be setting the tone for so many others at the moment um, that Vijay has already mentioned in, in his blurb. And wherever we look, there are authoritarian leaders, whether we're in Turkey, at the Philippines, and theirs isn't the language of peace. But um, <coughs> what Brian Cass was saying that the danger of people, people like Trump, is, for example, he uses the words infest, breed, and invade to refer to immigrants. He calls asylum seekers animals. Nazis refer to Jews as rats. Hutu leaders in Rwanda called Tutsi cockroaches. Slaves were described as stock. Dehumanizing language paves the way for atrocities. And I think this is why it's really urgent that whenever we get a chance that we all get together join forces and try a counter, push through a counter message. A message that it's still possible to dialogue, uh, to try and curtail the power of the money makers. Ultimately, it's a matter of following the money. If there is conflict, if there is discord, someone is profiting from it and just follow the chain and at the top, <coughs> as we has always said, there are people who are vested in interest. So I'm not going to say much more than just to 
thank Peter, uh, thank you all for coming and look for, looking forward to our speakers who all have experience of different expertise in different areas, they deal with global issues and hopefully when we've heard from them we can all collectively go forward with new ideas, new energy to try and reduce some of this madness that is going on around the world. So the um, first speaker today I will uh, invite is Keith Best. As you'll see from his biography, he is Secretary of the World Federalist Movement, Institute of Global Policy, which seeks to improve international structures on federalist principles with observer states in the US. So welcome. Thank you.